Hello everyone. It's been quite a while since I've done one of these. I'll give a few views. All right. So this is um, a, a 34 card uh, submission to PSA uh, reveal. I had received this uh, back in July, but uh, I was away, and only now I've had an opportunity to um, to open the box. I already know the the grades. There's a good mix of stuff. Um, you know, major stars, uh, including Ronaldo. There's a, quite a few Ronaldos. I believe there's only one Messi. Uh, some Cruyff. There's an Eusebio in here, um, a Eusebio rookie. Hey, Scuba Steve, how are you? Thanks for, for watching. How are you, Jamie? Welcome. So like I was saying, yeah, so we got some Ronaldos. You guys know me, I like to, to grade older uh, Ronaldos, you know, around 2004 or so. Uh, Messi, there's just one card. It's a 2014 Prism. What else? Uh, some Cruyff, again, um, uh, Nils Xavier rookie, and da, da, da. well, I'll uh, surprise you guys with, with some of the rest. Some good stuff. Um, nothing out of the ordinary, but believe it or not, on most of this stuff, it's pretty pretty low pop. I was just checking before. I had checked a while back, but I just wanted to, to make sure that the numbers were still pretty much uh, pretty low as uh, from the last time. And, um, and I, I did confirm that they are, oh, this one, this is a, a major one. I'm gonna put it to the back because it's the Eusebio rookie. nothing else in here I guess this was open already because of uh, my submitter uh, which I use is Tim Lorena Luke I believe it's from Wisconsin somewhere so all right let's get started I'll leave this one for last but you guys can tell it's a uh, it's a pretty big one for those of you that know uh, vintage and know Eusebio, it's, it is indeed a, um, a rookie of his, which I was able to purchase uh, another one uh, while in Portugal. All right, so let's get started. And what do we have is the first card here. Oh, <laughs> this is a basketball card. I forgot I had sent this. Uh, this is a uh, Lamello Ball rookie, Father's Day, number 199. I don't know why I thought it, mine was, uh, this was supposed to have been uh, numbered to a lot uh, lower. Hmm. Anyway, got an eight on this, no biggie. How are you, Canal Prom? How are you, Gilles? Gilles? Another card. Oh, here's uh, uh, Maradona, 1982, Rayalca, as is uh, Du Mundial. These are pretty tough to grade. Um, I don't know if it's visible in the back. Usually, um, a, a portion of the, the, the circle is, is crushed. And I got a four. I'm happy with the four because from what I recall, the highest uh, graded on, on these are, are fives. So that's that's not bad. Take okay, once upon a time. Grab this. All right, so this is the Maradona. Next up, this is a Cruyff from 1976. This is from the Euro 77. And this got a six. Uh, it's not the highest graded, 
but nevertheless, it's a nice uh, a Cruyff that I had here for some time. Uh, Jay Sickard's going to be great to sub, I know. It, it, it's got some good stuff, you know, a good variety. But you guys uh, know uh, me to basically like to send, uh, you know, for grading. So this is a Cruyff. Like I said, there's a few other Cruyffs, different ones, all different. And here's another one, one that I had for some time, and I I uh, figured, you know, let me send it out to protect it more than anything else because, you know, it's got some, um, it, it, it looked like it, it was peeled, and so I got a one and a half, so that's more than fair, as, as the FR stands for. So, um, this is a 1970 Vanderhout. I believe I also sent a Portugal, yeah, so. Here's a 1970 uh, De Pool Campeões. This is uh, from, Pol well, it's almost like the Polyrex, you guys know of, from Portugal. Um, and this got a, a two. These are a very, very low pop. Uh, I like his here on, on, on this uh, sticker. Um, and again, I know the condition wasn't the best, so I got a two. Although, um, you know, the corners are all rounded, but it's more for protective uh, purposes that I send this out, these vintage. What else? All right, so here I have a, Ron I mean, a messy, let me just try to get, get rid of some of the clear here. This is a 2014 Panini Prism. Um, this is the yellow and red Pulsar. Um, and, uh, this got a nine. Uh, you know what, I kind of forgot if there are any tens out there. Possibly there are, but it's a, it's a nice uh, nice nine from the subset of the World Cup stars. Uh, that's messy. Next up, we have an Aguero from 2006, Panini Mega Cracks. This got a nine. I believe this is also low pop, and it's, uh, I believe it's the, one of the, the highest graded. There might be other nines. I don't think this is the only one. Uh, I, in this set, there are two different um, Agueros, and this is the 442, which is not as hard as uh, the other, what, what, what other number that is from this set. Nevertheless, this is a nine. It's, uh, I was happy to get. Such a high grade. Uh, oh, this is a thicker one. All right, so this is the famous uh, Color Blast from Panini Obsidian of uh, Mohammed Salah. Got a 10. This is uh, not the only one out there. This, this, I believe there's quite a few, but still, it's a, it's a 10. I'll take it. There are at least one other tens that came out on here uh, from another player, actually a teammate of his now. Uh, very popular, uh, Iniesta Rookie. The portrait, which uh, most of you guys know, is the, the tougher to get. I'm okay with sixth. Centering is terrible, as you see, top, bottom. Uh, but these are very sought after. Um, they continue to misspell the Superliga de Estrellas, they're missing an E before the S. I don't know how uh, PSA hasn't fixed that yet. But um, it is, you know, probably the most popular Iniesta rookie out there. So a six, it's warranted. I'll, I'll take it. Uh, next up, we have a Diogo Jota rookie. This is a sticker. This is one of the tens that I spoke to you guys about. Teammate of Mohamed Salah. This is from 2015 football. And I believe, I want to say it is the only, it's very low pop, obviously. Not too many people are aware of this, of this particular sticker. Um, and I believe it might be the, the only one. Um, again, this is the sticker. There's, I have a card of his coming up, uh, I'm sure, uh, very soon. And we put this up for the time being. And I want to try to widen. Okay. Sorry about the background. You guys know me. That's what I do. 
All right, next one up is, oh yeah, this is another Diego Jota. In this case, it's uh, one of his rookie cards from uh, Panini Adrenaline XL. This was uh, a set that it was only released in Portugal. And um, it's one of his rookies. There are two of his on here. The other one, I believe, has another teammate. I forget the name of the player, but I got a nine on this. And again, this is also very, very low pop of Diego Jota. Uh, and here's the other one. Oh, okay. So, yeah, there might yet be another one. Uh, so, I guess I was mistaken. So, this this is his, his rookie card. And again, from 2015. Part of the same set. But I thought there was yet another, uh, or maybe it's on the sticker set, that there's Diogo Jota with another teammate of his. But this is a 10. I, and I want to say that this is also the only one um, out there. And again, very low pops on these. So... Sorry, guys, I've been forgetting to check on uh, any comments. Uh, feel free to make any comments or questions. Uh, as you know, I'm uh, always willing to uh, answer or, or give my feedback on on it. And here's, uh, is a, here's a, uh, a Zidane you don't find too often out there. And I'm pretty sure this is the highest grade of his uh, 1998 Panini, Azuri Al Mundiali. This, uh, I believe, only came out in... Uh, Italy. I don't know if there's a, a Japanese version of this. Might be wrong, but I, I did check the pop, and I was happy to get a, a very high grade. Uh, it's a nine of uh, Zidane with his uh, Juventus uh, kit back from 1998. Um, you know, this uh, should be good. Let me see if I can pull these back. And you guys know me. Sooner or later, the, one of these or more than one will start falling off because that's just how I am, clumsy. Not meant for these type of things, but I, I do like to share with you guys, and I know you guys uh, also like to see some cards that you don't see every day and stickers. I'm not Al Dragella, by the way, Al Dragella. To those of you who do not know yet, he's probably one of the biggest collectors for sure, uh, vintage wise. Follow him on El Ray Collection on Instagram. And you'll just be amazed on his, his collection of everything. Not just vintage, but even modern and so on. How are you, my friend? Uh, Tiago Pacheco from Loja dos Cromos in Portugal. Um grande abraço, amigo. Bem-vindo. Espero que esteja tudo bem contigo. We have another Zidane. This is from the 1996 Panini Calciatori, number 144. I got a three. This is a very low grade. I don't know what happened here. Not sure. Um, three is low. Again, it could have some some issues with the surface, perhaps. Uh, I mean, centering-wise, is not too bad. Something out here, I'm not sure if these are the Newton rings or... Uh, but I do see something. I think it's part of the way it was pressed on. But anyway, I, I do like this uh, this stick, which again you don't see too often. Pop is also very low. Uh, there's another Zidane. This is also low, a four. I, I know this definitely has some issues, and you can see with the rounded corners um, or at least some some white on it. Love this card of him with uh, Bordeaux, which was the team before he went to. Juventus, uh, also low pop, the UNFP, and its actual card, <sighs> and the Master Stickers cards, yeah, <laughs> not really, but thank you, Tiago. Uh, and, and, you know, there's also, this previous team was Khan, and those, I believe, are his true rookies. I did get, I don't know, do I have it here? Oh, yeah, this is what, one of the, one of my purchases from Portugal, which I brought with me. I wanted to show you guys before I go any further. This is uh, Zidane from Ons Mondial, the uh, French magazine. And he's here with uh, the team that I've spoken uh, to you about, Khan, from August 1991. So uh, PSA has um, graded these, and this is in pretty good shape, even though obviously it had to be cut. Uh, removed from the magazine. So uh, what you see here is just glue. Don't worry about it. Um, I'm going to be, uh, I'm waiting on some uh, 
a better protector to send out to PSA soon. So this should be going out. Some of you guys on here, I'm sure, uh, already own one of those. So I figured I'd uh, send one out since I got it. All right, we're on to the next box. Uh, okay. Next card or sticker is a 369Bs, a rookie of Vinicius Jr. from 2018 Mega Cracks. Believe it or not, the, these, the pops on these haven't gone as up as I or one would have have thought. Um, still relatively no, and I got a, a nine. Uh, I believe there are tens out there. I'm not 100% sure, I don't remember from uh, checking the pop report on PSA uh, about an hour ago, believe it or not. Just want to show you how my memory works, or doesn't. And that was the only Venetians I sent over. Next card or sticker is, oh, these are nice. This is the very popular 2004 Panini Bolicao uh, Selecao. And there's three different Ronaldo stickers on, on, on this, uh, uh, on these sets and this one happens to have a petite um, and this is great an eight and uh, for those of you that have seen in the past these for whatever reason are the toughest to get good centering uh, there's another him uh, another one of him with Manish which I usually get better centering and I submit on those two so you'll see but I got an eight uh, that's fine wonder how many they printed of those can you get this in second edition only um, which ones, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, which ones are you referring to uh, in the second edition only? Sorry, uh, M. Tizzle Hobby, if you can be more uh, more clear on uh, which card you're referring to. Oh, Vinny. Uh, when you say, uh, those, can you get this in second edition? Not, you mean on the second edition bo uh, boxes? I'm really not sure. I got to be honest, I did not buy the boxes I, I actually ordered uh, from Panini directly uh, years ago and <laughs> true story they uh, had sent it to me I didn't get it uh, I had a tracking number and everything it seems to have been lost I told them that it was lost I um, they sent me another uh, uh, another few and um, eventually both of, both of the packages arrived so I was fortunate but I unfortunately I can't answer that question to you uh, usually the bees will come out at least in the second edition. I don't think they would have been in the first edition. So here's another um, Bolicao of Ronaldo with Petit and also an eight, again, because centering is an issue, as is always. Is. I know someone, one of you guys out there, that actually has a Petit that's very, very well centered. I don't even know if you got a nine. If you check the pop report on these, uh, they're, they're tough. Uh, I believe um, they're around in the 20s or 30s for each of them, um, which is still very low. And this is the other uh, sticker I mentioned, you guys, uh, with, uh, Ron uh, with Ronaldo and Manish. And on here, I got a 9. And makes sense because of the better uh, centering. Um, and uh, the, the other, so, so these are two of the Ronaldos on this set. And then there's another one, which is with him uh, solo, um, actually uh, kicking uh, the ball. And, and those are extremely, extremely tough to get. And, uh, but these are not as hard. Uh, in Portugal, you'll find them every so often, but they, but they come at a premium price. Uh, so I, I, I did order, submitted a few, a few of these. Um, I don't know if it was maybe three or four with uh, Manish. Most of them I did get nines. That's another nine here. With, uh, from Panini. Bolicao. Uh, and another nine. So are they consecutive? Yeah, 22, 23, and, and 21. The serial numbers. Did I, did I send... Three or four of these, let's see, they would be in order. Okay, now that they're not. All right, so uh, next up we have um, the first uh, set in which uh, 
Ronaldo, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo is featured on the, um, on the with, with the Portugal national team jersey, and you probably can't can't tell, but here he was wearing number eleven. And these, to those of you that don't know, uh, Panini actually released them in Portugal only, and before the the main Euro two thousand four set. So this is his official, um, I guess, uh, Portugal uh, national team jersey. Um, rookie sticker card, if you want to call it. Um, Scuba Steve, no, I wasn't at the national. I was in, I was in Portugal on vacation, so I, I always miss the nationals because it, it coincides with the time that I like to be in Portugal, which is basically half of July and half of August. Um, hey Nils, um, this Zidane, yeah, this I, I like this, and I don't know if you were here when I. Um, Brought it from the box, but I believe it's the highest graded over at PSA with a nine. It's a tough, tough grade, and I had it in very good shape, so I was fortunate. So this is um, this is probably the easiest uh, Ronaldo to get a good centering and get higher grades. So I got a nine on that. Should I put that in the front? I guess I will. I just love these uh, Panini by um, Champa Portugal. Uh, all right. Uh, it's next, there might be a few of these now. Yeah, it's another one, but this is an eight. So, uh, could be the centering on here, top, bottom. There's now a 50-50. On this top, I have a few eight. I have a few eight is missing highest. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that was the, the highest. Um, here's another. Now, this is the toughest. This is the toughest uh, uh, Ronaldo from the Panini Paixão para Portugal to grade, mostly because of the centering. But there are a couple of issues also. Um, to those of you that don't know, I, I pretty, I, I've opened a lot of packs of these. I've seen tons of these. They seem to have two different, two dots on the left-hand side of the of the these stickers. One of them is right there. You could probably see if I bring it closer. Uh, and another one, I believe it's on the bottom here. So you might be able to check any of them on eBay, and I'm, I'm almost 100% sure you're going to find those, uh, you know, I guess, print uh, uh, dots. Uh, so again, that's the number one reason for them to, to be such low grade. And I don't think, I, there might be one nine out there, and that's about it. There's no tens, and there might never be a ten, to tell you the truth. Uh, so this is a seven. It's okay. It's his uh, jersey number now. Hey, how are you, um, Andre? Tudo bem? Um abraço. I'm good, thank you. And uh, so that's one. Was it 101? Yeah, 101 is the toughest. There might be others. Let's see. Okay, there's another 101. Same thing. Seven, and you'll also see that dot there, and somewhere on the bottom here, on the bottom left. So. different panini passion okay so I, I love this one too i love this kid in blue and uh, white and blue for those of you that don't know portugal's flag before or during the monarchy was um was uh, uh blue and white and until 1910 i want to say and this is a nate and again, i just just love this uh this pose of his beautiful beautiful card it's not extra card it's actually a sticker as it says here stickers but the um, size on them are, are just like the traditional uh, trading cards. And you notice number 16. Beautiful um, sticker card. I think I sent a couple of these also, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I did. So this is another eight. And what's up next here? Another, another eight. So yes, I do have a few of these. I also have a, a, a good amount of these graded by uh, by Beckett, which is fine. You know, some of you haters will say something about it. All right, here's something new, and whew, Newton rings uh, very exposed over here. You can definitely see them. This is a tough sticker uh, to not only get from the 2005-06. The 2004-05 is even more difficult to get, and it's got some gold on it, on the, I believe on the writing uh, of his name, and I want to say this last sound, and, and it, it's very easy to chip. 
Uh, so it's very tough to get a, a, a high grade on this on that other one. But this is also tough to find. This is an eight. Uh, center is usually tough. Um, I'm happy with this eight. I believe there is another one that I submitted. And uh, yep, and that actually got a, a nine. And you see him with uh, uh, jersey number 17, which he had to wear because Figo back then was the owner of the number seven kit. Yep, I, I, know you, I know you like that one, Andre, even though you're a Benfica fan, but truth be told, that is a beautiful kit that I would love to see Portugal have again, the white and blue. They also had it, I want to say in 2000, oh, that was the 2002, right? Uh, kit, um, yeah, I think it was 2002. Now here's, here's a low grade. For this uh, Ronaldo SP Authentic, I'm not sure what happened here. Um, I, 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 I mean, I, I don't know. This is a very low. I did take a good look at the car before submitting, unless it was uh, damaged during shipping. Uh, I don't know. But this is very low, a five. I might have to resubmit this one. But I love this kit also of Ronaldo with Manchester United's first year. They had it, 2015, they had it as well. Oh, yeah, but was it also blue and white? Yes, it was. But that, that I think that one was more of a classic. I don't know why. Uh, so this is the disappointment, a five. I sent a couple of the other ones. Let's see here. Yeah, so this, this got a nine. There are three different uh, cards of uh, Ronaldo on this uh, SP Authentic Manchester United set. They're all numbered uh, with seven. Um, so this one, number seven, number 37, and I believe over there still in the box should be a number 67. But this five, I, I definitely don't know what happened. Uh, maybe a little off-centered. Eh, it's a little off-centered, but still wouldn't... Uh, I mean, it wouldn't warrant a, a, a five. I mean, you look at the gap here and compare it with here. Okay, at least a seven. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I don't recall seeing any damage to the corners or the edges. So, center, perhaps. And here is um, the other, uh, the third card from this uh, SP Authentic set. And as you see, number 67, this got an eight. So, got all type. Uh, all different types of um, of grades and uh, last but not least uh, I did get this other one which are really beginning to be my favorites still you can find them in Portugal every so often out there and this is a 1961 uh, Sociedad Nacional de Fósforos, that's uh, matches, and this is a two. There are two different versions you see here, it says black text. There's also, I, I believe it's a tougher to find um, red text. I, I actually purchased one from PWCC not too long ago, also graded, and I got a two. It makes sense, the back is uh, in not very good shape because obviously the, the matches had to be removed. So this left some, you know, um, some marks. Nevertheless, the front is in beautiful, beautiful shape. Newton rings again, applying here on the bottom. And I, I just love this. Um, so that was my submission. Let me make sure I get the, the right amount of cards because uh, I always like to verify what I submitted is what I got back. So this is one, two for the Lamello, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 27, 28, 
29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Yep. All right, so for those of you that are still here, I'll run a quick summary once again. So the last, some of the last three that I showed were these SP Authentic from Ronaldo, a five, an eight, and a nine. Uh, from the 2005 Panini Sports uh, Portuguese edition, uh, sticker edition, Ronaldo, I got an eight and a nine. Let's see the back, football 2005-06. I still have some unopened packs from this, by the way. Uh, and, and also 2004-05, which are even tougher to, to get the Ronaldos. Um, Panini Paixão para Portugal. Uh, three eights on these uh, number 117. Uh, unfortunately, two sevens for the much tough, tough uh, centering 101 from this uh, from this collection. Two sevens, but I did manage to get an eight on on this and a nine, so happy with, with this nine. Uh, the Bully Cow with Manish, I got three nines. I actually purchased one uh, a while back on Golden at a very decent price, I thought. I believe it was, I want to say it was like 600 bucks or so. And uh, I've kept it, obviously. I haven't, uh, I haven't. I, oh, by the way, I didn't get any, um, what do you call it? Uh, when they overcharge or the surcharges, I didn't get any on those. So those are tough um, bully cows to find. Uh, two with uh, Ronaldo and Petit. Eights centering is always very tough. Uh, what else? Oh, here's uh, Vinicius Rookie. Yeah, the five looks better center than nine. Yeah, I don't know what happened with that, but whatever. I got a 10 on this color blast from Mohamed Salah. It's from 2020, by the way. It's not the newer ones, it's 2020. So a 10. Pop report is, is higher. Uh, I believe this is the highest graded, uh, one of three, I believe, highest graded Aguero rookies. Um, this is, or, or if that's not the rookie, it's the second year. I believe you might have something from Argentina. A nine. Uh, a nice Vanderhout. Um, Cruyff from 1970-71. There's it was removed, therefore it's a one and a half. A six for uh, 1976 Panini Euro Football 77 number 193 of uh, Hoan Cruyff. Let's see, there was another Cruyff, but I guess not. Uh, Lamella Ball for those of you that are asking. I just figured why not send it over. An eight. Actually, believe it or not, these this is a silver, right? Yeah, it's a silver, and there's only uh, the pop on this is this is the only eight, and there's one higher, and it's a nine, and that's it. Panini hasn't graded anymore. Uh, I'm sorry, Panini PSA hasn't graded any more of these, so it's uh, I'm not saying it's incredibly rare because there are 199 of these out there, but these are this one is in pretty decent shape. Um, all right, now for some Zidans, we have a 1994 uh, Panini UNFP a four, a three, which I really don't know why I got a three on this. How are you, BPC card collections? Welcome, everything's good, thank you. So this got a, a low grade of a three, but I still love this sticker. And this is the nice uh, PSA nine from the very difficult to find Panini Azzurri al Mundiali in a Juventus kit. Highest uh, graded by PSA. Some Diego Jotas. We have uh, a Jamin 10. Uh, his rookie card with Pas Ferreira before he even went to uh, Atletico Madrid and then on to Porto. And I also, his sticker also got a 10. And his other card in the night, 2015 at Panini Adrenaline XL got a 9. This is a nice one. A lot of people don't like the adrenaline because it's basically a game board uh, set. I, I just love at least the front of it with all the gold and so on. It just stands out. So this is a nine. And uh, and that's it. Oh, yeah, this other, I'm sorry. Let me finish this off. Uh, this, um, I love this uh, 
Cruyff from the Portuguese collection, 1970 De Paul. It's a two, it's fine. Maybe should have gotten a three. Center is not too, too bad. I know corners are rounded, but I, uh, Newton rings displayed on here. Once again, you guys can probably see it. Terrible, but uh, uh, Maradona, Realca, Aziz, Du Mundial from 1982. This is a four. It's a pretty high grade considering how, how tough it is to to grade these because they, they definitely have some surface issues. Um, Iniesta Rookie, the portrait, the tough one. Uh, a six, it's okay. Sanry, as you can tell, was very, very bad. I've opened uh, and, and pulled a few of Iniesta's uh, uh, from some boxes uh, that I have from the 2002 or three Super Liga de Estrellas and again, PSA continues to misspell the Estrellas. And um, 2014 Panini World Cup Prism, the yellow and red pulsar, um, Messi with a nine. Yep. So guys, that's that's it. Uh, appreciate you, uh, you know, keeping me company while I open this uh, 34 card submission. I do have a couple other submissions with PSA, but they might take a while before they come back. I believe I did either value or something. It's uh, There might be one coming up within, within the next month or so, but I'll be sure to tell you guys about it. Guys, thanks again. Talk to you soon. Have a good day.